To begin the beer making process, the brewmaster fills a tank called a mash tun with water, then ignites a burner. When the water heats to 65 degrees Celsius, he pours in a blend of different types of malts. Malts are cereal grains, such as barley or corn, which have been soaked to kickstart germination. Then, once sprouted, dried with hot air to halt germination. Stirring the malt into the hot water activates enzymes that convert the starches in the grain into fermentable sugars. After an hour or so, he transfers just the liquid, called wort, to the boil kettle and gradually adds different varieties of hops. He brings the wort to a boil to kill off bacteria and sterilize it. Next, he cools the wort and transfers it to the fermentation tank. Then he adds yeast. Over the next 10 to 14 days, the yeast consumes the fermentable sugars in the wort, converting them into alcohol and producing carbon dioxide gas, which creates bubbles. This process transforms the wort into beer. To prepare coffee for the vino brew, a worker puts grounds into a filter bag, saturates the bag with cold water, then submerges the bag in water, letting the grounds steep for about 16 hours. Then he pours the coffee into a large jar. At the winery, they harvest and press the grapes, add yeast and ferment them, then age the port wine for at least two years in oak barrels. To prepare to make vino brew, they test samples from different barrels for acidity and sweetness to help decide which wines to potentially use. The winemaker and the coffee maker experiment with amounts of those wines and different cold brew coffees made from various types of beans. The brewmaster also joins in, measuring out beer. It's as much art as science. For each batch of vino brew, they play with the selection of ingredients and with the proportions, tasting and smelling the samples to evaluate aroma, sweetness, bitterness, and acidity. What they try to create is a harmonious blend of the three elements, a new flavor, without the taste of any one element dominating the others. Once they pin down the winning formula, they replicate it on a large scale for production. 